Hi, it's Morlan from LifeMud.com. It still had a little confusion with my previous tutorial. Mainly the sound was awful and I rushed it a little bit. Anyway, um, I'm doing a video here so you can see I'm coming out of spawn. Um, so uh, we're going to get into space and all that. So we can assume I'm taking the first steps towards entering into the into the space program oh, coffee needed yeah so uh, the first step of course is to mine sell things do the usual thing you find on every server get some money behind yourself a space program is relatively expensive once you get started so uh, we're going to head over there. We've managed to uh, regain the, the contract after it is broken, after the dragon incident of 1722. So we have our dragons back. Awesome. Oh, there you go. And this is where we're going. This is the uh, launch tube. So this is what's going to launch us into space. There's going to be an L-Bug vessel there waiting for us. Uh, here we go. Lovely. There's the university. All of your spaceship needs um, um, nuclear reactors, all that kind of stuff. Um, yep, you'll find information for all that there. Uh huh. Okay, so here we are. We're in the launch tube. Oh, fuck oh, it. Stood on it too early. Too eager. But this is basically uh, an L bug. Um, I wouldn't want to be doing anything here. It's just to get us into space. Okay, you'll notice I've got these markers around. Uh, I'm using Ray's minimap which gives me the thing you can see in the bottom right hand corner of my screen um, that's really handy so I bear that in mind um, you notice my inventory has changed um, every world has a separate inventory um, so don't exp you know the only way you're going to be able to get things in and out of a planet through space is to actually land the ship that's going to be for another uh, another episode um, we will come down the left and we're at the shops <coughs> as you can see we're still under a little bit of construction um, these are the spacesuits you need every item when you get the helmet and put it on it will turn into a glass block so just be aware of that uh, ok so we're going to go up here and this is like the airlock there's nothing in there, so we go up again. And here we go, look, someone's parked an elbow there. So we come up to this, my right button now selects which option. We can go for grey or green. This is only the Acra station, this is not a major space station. Acra is just a planet like any of the others, you just so happen to start there. So there's been a lot of confusion about that. So these are three thousand dollars. So mm, grey or green? That one's grey. That one's grey. Let's go for green. Just to be different. Give it a click. There we go. There's our nice green elbow. Of course, we can fly in space. Lovely. We've got some coal in there. Some coal in there. So these are the uh, fuel tanks. These furnaces, and that use up coal as we go around and manipulate our ship ok we don't have a lot of coal here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this and this now own, makes me own the ship which means it's got my name and this is this ship's unique serial number so just while I'm doing things I'm going to switch this lock on most signs are operated by right clicking them so uh, I'm going right, to right click and we're now in a locked position so nothing in this ship or just about nothing in this ship 
will actually work whilst it's locked. I'm going to go and get some fuel. I was impatient and didn't buy any. Uh, you want to go down, down again. Let's go into the shops. Cook chicken. Don't need no cook chicken. Cool. Here we go. So let's. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, let's buy some coal. Um, you'll notice I actually click any signs, um, any sign controls, or click them with an empty hand. Um, there is a reason for that. I will personally consider it that if you're clicking buttons with things in your hands, it's like bashing around on the controls with things in your hands, you know. You've got a pickaxe in your hand, you're not going to try and type on the keyboard. So it's probably not a good idea to go using your signs and, and like that either. Right, okay. So we're all fueled up now. Got some lights on. These are the engines. We use uh, this is a, a craft book integration into our plugin, so we can switch them on. This changes how fast your ship goes. Um, <coughs> the main drive will travel five blocks for every engine you've got on. So we're in quite quite close quarters here, so I'll just have one. Um, we have a compass and some locations and things. Um, the altitude, right button. More than you fool. Right, so we can drop down a little bit. Yes, I'm taking some damage because I'm a bit a bit lagged because I'm video from so I can go up by right clicking and I can go down by left clicking. Like I say, I'm getting some funny errors because my client's not running as quickly as it should because I'm, f I'm filming this. Right, so if I right click my main drive now, um, I've just jumped five blocks forwards. Now that's quite handy, I can sit there and jump forward, I can go back here, switch more engines on, yes, more engines, and then we can jump. That's one of my battleships down there. Okay. And flying like this would would suck. You'd have to sit there and keep clicking. Um, we have thrusters. They only move you a couple of blocks in the direction of the thrust that the thrust is pointed. Those are only for fine tuning and landing. If you keep walloping those signs, your ship is quickly going to fall to pieces. Just like in the real world. Um, the ship's will, you can right click and instead of turn around and left click I'm going to turn back again see this is uh, this is what the aqua station looks like from the outside um, ok so this is the EOT this is like the main drive except you go further and you only have to switch it on, switch it off. So we're travelling at 100 blocks a tick now. So now I'm going to head to the main Aqua Space Station. This is, um, sorry, not the main Aqua Space Station, just a main space station. Um, this is the Space Core Space Station I'm headed to. It's literally head straight north out, out of Acra Space Station, you can't miss it to be honest, it's pretty big and if you've got a map it's handy I'll take this opportunity to demonstrate something else an invaluable navigation tool so I'm going to bring this up this is the website now excuse everything's all jumbled around because I've got quite a small screen for this so if we click map, and we can come up with various maps, I can click into space. This is an isometric view, so we don't want that. We want to click the radar view. And there we are, you can see me, here I am. Scroll in a bit, and where am I? 
there I am. So here I am here, you can see there's an asteroid there. Scroll out just a bit, just oh so you can see here's the Aqua Space Station. Here is the it's the spawn of space, but it is the central space station. So you can as you can see I just need to fly north. And this will update do everything you need. So I know there's no need to comment about my quick bookmarks. So as you can see I'm 800 meters away just because I've put a label there. And if you've got one of these maps it's quite cool. You can push X and uh, you get like a it's like having a satellite system on your on your ship. And so an Elbug isn't the fastest ship, but it's certainly going to get you there. And you see as we get closer, I mean obviously I'd ordinarily be checking the die map, the, the map I've just shown you here, well, we can even see it. So I can switch this off now, and I'm just going to tug forward on the main drive. Around, come forward a bit, and we could even now dock a ship in here. We can just park around. Everybody seems to enjoy parking in the vicinity, so we can make use of the region protection, no doubt. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Just don't block the exits. Um, that's about it, that's about the basics of flight. I mean, there's not a lot to it than that. Most of this makes sense. Um, the landing computer is quite handy. If you have it in a scan position and you left click, it tells you if there's any any planets. See, so just under there, after Lego Man being clever. Um, we've got land. If there was a land here, if there was a planet here, you'd click land and it would take you into the atmosphere of a planet. Orbit is the opposite of that, obviously. You have to uh, have to be on a planet to, to go into orbit. Um, some ships have weapons. Some ships have hyperdrives. Uh, I'll cover those in a, in a later video. Um, they're quite neat. A hyperdrive will take you into an alternate an alternate dimension where all of your drive speeds are doubled. You can trans transverse lots of space very quickly, um, which is nice. Um, teleporters. Um, teleporters are very handy. You can use these things to... Uh, you can use those to teleport between ships. I mean, it doesn't matter if one of the ships moves because as long as you retarget. Um, of course, you can switch those on and off for security's sake. I'm just flying off by my base station. Oh, look, and here we go. Look at this. Where is it? There's one. There's another one. Yeah. Now, obviously, one of the dangers in real space and our space alike is if you lose sight of your spaceship, very easy to become disorientated. My advice I tell people is um, set work. Whenever you leave your ship, set work. I'll just use my uh, wicked pickaxe here. And here we go, you can see this asteroid is full of coal. Looks like it's probably not going to be terribly deep. Ah, see, that's, this is what I'd consider quite a small, small coal deposit. But it's handy to know where some of those are, because, uh, well, at the end of the day, there are giant floating fuel tanks for you to fill your ships up with. So is uh, oh, 
No? Oh, so we've used half a stack of that. So if that all oh, and all that. So you can see we do get through quite a lot of fuel. So you know you're better off buying quite a bit of it and every time you find a coal asteroid keep lots of it it's fuel don't sell the bugger turn it in the blocks and store it you can always unblock it um, this cargo hold I thought it was going to do that my screen's at a funny size otherwise you'd see it completely this is a 90 a 90 block inventory you can use to store your stuff this is unique to your ship it follows your ship not you so that's something worth bearing in mind it is also possible to create a key um, so you can lock your ship on this and give the key to a friend and the friend can lock and unlock your ship it is also possible to create what's known as a bud or a beam up device which uh, you tune onto this just like a key and um, if you're within within a certain range it's a cone within if you're within that cone of your ship right clicking it on air will beam you up so that's pretty good that's pretty good I like that one it's one of my favorites um, so that's about it if anyone has any requests on how to use a different aspect of the technology this was only the very basics this ship is the absolute most basic ship that we sell and although it's got quite a few controls in here it looks more complicated than it is but there is a lot more we have weapons radar systems kind of um, we have you know as I've mentioned beam up devices teleport pads we've got several different seven different ugh, several different weapon types um, yeah all sorts of bits and pieces we're soon going to have a scanning system for scanning asteroids and remote ships um, that's about it oh the jump drive I almost yeah I'm going to have to cheat and give myself some Oh. so I'm going to have to cheat here right so right click the jump drive and it's gone red this indicates it's charged right click it again and we have just gone now well we're, we've just we've just travelled 7000 blocks so that this is also dependent on the site the amount of engines you have um, however you you travel a ridiculous ridiculous amount of space um, although going to height if you have a ship with a hyperdrive and you go into hyperspace and then you jump that's quite interesting um, so that's another little thing to bear in mind um, when you're mining in space you want to be mining traveling back to any aligned space station or planet um, any of them you should better sell your ores at the main space station at spawn of space spawn um, it's probably going to be your usual drop off point for selling things but there are some planets you'll have to discuss that with planet owners um, and some of those operate a system where they'll buy your ores off you and then they they cart them back to spawn and sell them so that's about that um, bring this up as you can see that there are several destinations several planets um, some of these planets are actually for sale this is for core system now several light years in each cardinal direction I mean there are there are 11 planets around here I'm not going to locate them all but they're all roughly in a circle with this point there's another space station here um, so you can if you can find those that, that's pretty cool you can navigate on the site 
and if you can get into one of the other one of the other solar systems um, you'll also find a, another collection of planets there obviously they're a lot more difficult to get to so don't expect to be coming backwards and forwards in your ship very frequently if you go into a different solar system and for a lot of the time go to a planet there are no shops it's not designed for economy it's your own planet you're, you then become a colonist and you're on your own and as soon as the passport system arrives you, and if you own a planet um, you should better designate your own nationality and operate a passport and decide who can and can't visit your planet so that's about all I've got to ramble on about for today hopefully my audio is a bit better and don't don't forget to uh, subscribe like and comment and all that stuff everybody else says it so I'd better put it in there and uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook we we put all of our updates on there and events when we have our fireworks competitions etc so thanks for watching i hope you found it informative and don't forget to ask sensible questions in game